Hi, my name is Mitchell, and in this Adobe Lightroom Classic CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to utilize the Adobe Creative Cloud to better manage, edit, and share your photos. Now, the first and most important thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and import your uh, photos from whatever your shoot is or whatever collection you are trying to make. You're going to want to sort through or cull those photos, and I'll have a link right up here to where you can go ahead and see how I sort, edit, and rate my photos for later use. Uh, once you've done that, you are then going to go ahead and go to Filters, and up here go to Attributes. Now, as I mentioned already, I always like to rate my photos on a five-star basis. Anything more than two stars, I will go ahead and keep so I can sort through and call them later. Now, in this process, I'm not being that selective when it comes to going through and picking the photos I want to add to this collection, just photos that I would like to examine further. So here, I've got a nice selection of photos I've already picked. Trying to decide which of these I like more really just kind of comes down to a personal preference. Once you have selected the photos that you would like to further examine, you can go ahead and create a collection. Now, I'm going to go ahead and call this Namdang Street Photography. And when you do that, you're going to want to make sure that this right here, Sync with Lightroom CC, is clicked. What this does is this creates a collection of photos that you can add to from different shoot dates and whatnot, and it will go ahead and upload all of these photos to the Adobe Creative Cloud. If you can see in the upper left-hand side, I have an indicator that I am syncing 12 photos. But what if you want more than just those 12 photos? Well, the beauty of collections in Adobe Lightroom is that you can add any photos that you want. So I really like this photo I have of a chair. And I'll go ahead, because I'm indecisive, I'll add both of these photos to my collection. Namding Street Photography. Now, one of the important things to note when you're using the Creative Cloud in this vein is that you want to make sure that you are not uploading everything to the Creative Cloud. You're limited to 100 gigabytes for free. If you would like more than that, you can go ahead and begin to pay for those Adobe Creative Cloud services. Personally, at that point in time, I will go ahead and I will unsync my collection and really use Adobe Lightroom Creative Cloud to make the working process faster. And depending upon your internet upload speed and the speed of your computer, you can go ahead and batch upload 50 or 60 photos and they'll upload quite quickly. In other circumstances, it will take a little bit longer. As I mentioned before, really one of the big benefits to using the Adobe Creative Cloud is the fact that it offloads a lot of the editing to Adobe servers. And for people with a slower computer or if you have a separate uh, netbook or something that you like to travel with, um, it makes this whole process less taxing on your system. And at this point, guys, I'll show you what the editing process looks like in Adobe Lightroom CC. Now, as you guys can see, I have loaded up Adobe Lightroom CC. Now, what you see in CC will be mimicked across uh, the collection that you have in Adobe Lightroom Classic, as well as Adobe Lightroom Mobile. And if you guys want me to do a separate video on Adobe Lightroom Mobile and how I use it, please go ahead and comment down below. Now, we go ahead and we find the collection which we have synced 
online. And we have a set of controls that are quite similar to Adobe Lightroom Classic. Uh, I'm sorry for the little bit of a stutter that we have when going through this application, but I am using a screen recorder right now and my screen is 4K. But here we can go ahead, we cover the shadows for this guy, use a healing brush or use a brush for like a selective edit Go ahead and apply a radial filter. Let's go ahead and let's brighten this guy's face up a little bit. Boom. And then <clears throat> kind of with that radial filter, we can go ahead and see the effects that we are having. And it's pretty much in real time. There definitely is a little bit of a lag as it does need to sync with the server. But as long as you have pretty quick Wi-Fi, you can go ahead and edit your photos without much difficulty. Pretty happy with this one. I'll select it. And as you can see, it's running pretty smooth and pretty quick, even on my computer right now with the screen recorder going. And most of the edits that we have are happening actually in real time. We're not having to wait to see a uh, kind of upload or, you know, the stuff take shape, it, it's happening pretty much in real time. It really doesn't do much to drain or tax the system. And the pictures that I get coming out of it are usually stuff, it's usually stuff I'm pretty happy with, you know? Um, and I know it's really hard to gauge how responsive the program is right now because I'm doing a screen recording, but overall, I can't recommend this enough, especially if you are on the move, I thought that this photo was gonna turn out better, but let's go ahead and remove it from the album. Don't show again. And this, of course, will be saved with Lightroom in my uh, desktop, normal Lightroom Classic. The other thing I wanted to know is that I don't really see much of a difference in regards to processing or color or any of the effects that I see from using it, it it's pretty much the same. Um, there isn't a, a whole lot of difference. And if there is a difference at all, uh, it's negligible. And there we go. We just lightened up this woman's face a little bit. And I'm pretty happy with it. Okay. That's going to go ahead and wrap up this tutorial. If you guys like the video, go ahead, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have other questions about Adobe Lightroom or if you want me to do a video on how I utilize it on the mobile platform, go ahead and tell me what you would like to see in the comment section down below and I will do my best to make videos that are in line with what you guys want. Okay, enough rambling. Till next time, it's been Mitchell. Peace.